Welcome to the Two Geeks in a Microphone podcast, your one-stop shop for television, movie, video games, comic books, book reviews, and more. Now, without further ado, here's Stephen and Mike. Welcome, 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 everyone. We are so glad that you are here with us on the Two Geeks and a Microphone podcast. Thanks so much for joining us. I am your co-host, Mr. Stephen Boster, here with you, along with Mr. Michael Shanks. Mike, say hey to everybody. Good morning to all you geeks out there in geek land, geekdom land. I cannot say geekdom land. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those mornings everybody <laughs> we're stumbling over some words and stuff <laughs> cheers <laughs> well hey thank you for joining us today we are going to talk about some recent uh you know news in the marvel mcu uh universe mike what are we talking about today here here i'll give you a hint Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. Spins a web, any size, catches thieves, just like flies. Look out, here comes a Spider-Man. <laughs> Man, I grew up with that theme music. We just dated ourselves. <laughs> That's all right. That's awesome theme music. I love that theme music. Agreed, agreed. Man, I'm, I'm glad you found that clip. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, all right. So specifically, though, we are talking about, um, you know, this week was CinemaCon and oh. there was, you know, a lot of people were showing on this. I think it was in Vegas. A lot of people are a lot of movie companies were, you know, promoting their new films and new trailers and stuff like that. But, I actually didn't even know that was going on this week. Yeah. So, yeah, there's uh, there there people are going crazy over certain trailers. I think there was a Matrix Four trailer or something like that, or or parts and and some other stuff too. Um, uh, Halloween, um, Ooh, you know, Halloween yeah, so, kills. Yeah, yeah. There's so there was a lot of stuff that they were showing, but but before the I guess I don't know if there was a panel or not like a panel at Comic Con, but you know just where they were going to show off. But evidently, there was a trailer that leaked even before CinemaCon got rolling. <laughs> that yep. was the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer leaked. Like, what? And of course, you know, Sony Pictures all of a sudden, well, it's out there, so we better put it out officially. <laughs> oh, I ha I'll have you know, I knew the uh, the leaked one came out, and I flat out refused. I'm like, I'm not watching the leaked one. No way. And from what I understand, everyone who did watch the leaked one, they they had bad sound. You could barely hear it. The it was grainy. It looked so. I'm guessing somebody must have been there at the con and must have recorded it on their phone or something like that. So maybe, but yeah, I, maybe. I I wouldn't watch it until the official one was released. And then when the official one came out, yeah, okay, that's when I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't try to find it. I heard that it had leaked, but I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Um, support that type of right. you know kind of a thing and stuff because you know they're just trying to get clicks and then try to get you know if they're monetized channels then trying to get monetization for that kind of thing so um yeah well they didn't get money. anything from me i'll tell you that yeah same here same here didn't get anything from me either <laughs> so um uh so i watched it um actually you had sent me the text you know, I was like, dude, you got to watch this, you know, kind of a thing. I was like, oh, oh, okay. So I had to, you know, I couldn't just stop work, you know, to watch it. But man, uh, I had, because I knew I'd be like distracted once I watched it. <laughs> and by golly, I was so distracted that, I, um, you know, you were like, we've got to talk about this. I'm like, okay, let's, let's talk about this. But, uh, well, I'm interested to hear your nit and gritty on this you know, what you saw in this episode or in this trailer and uh, talk about it. So, um, is it safe you, to say that this trailer was amazing? 
Uh, that was a spectacular joke. <laughs> uh, okay, dad puns out of the way. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe just for the uh, moment. <laughs> maybe just for the moment, right? <laughs> awesome. Um, all right. So, um, do you want to uh, play the? For those of you, probably a lot of our listeners have already heard it, but we thought it'd be good to kind of listen to it, or um, we're going to listen to it, probably watch it, so we can talk about some certain things in it. Um, I know there's, you know, some particular things to bring out and what we know about it, but um, I, I'm excited for oh, this. I am super excited. Very, I, I yeah. think I think this is probably the this is going to be the Marvel movie of the year, honestly. I don't know. I'm hearing Shang Chi is is oh. pretty good. So that's next. That's next. Well, when this releases, it'll be this weekend. So oh, okay, all right. So yeah, you know, all right. There's the battle for the best Marvel movie for the year. Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I love some martial arts movies. I'm just saying. I and love I love Spider Man. So, uh... right. So, everybody, we may end up having a throwdown All at right. the end of the year. <laughs> I like the sound of that, actually. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hmm. All right. So, All right. I guess we'll listen to it so that way we can reference it. Uh, just you know, just a reminder, we can reference different parts of it for everybody. Does that sound good? Sounds good to me. Um, All right. So, I'm gonna... okay. So Mike is bringing it onto a screen right now, so that we can, uh, so that we can hear it and listen to it. All right. We ready? Yes. Go for it. All right. Spider Man: No Way Home teaser trailer. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop. Come on. <laughs> yes, my spider lord. <laughs> Can we just, like, stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is, in fact, Peter Parker. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones did. The drones that are yours. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody knows, you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. So, Peter. What do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we saved half the universe together. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. <laughs> when Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. Entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned, he's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really stop talking. <laughs> what just happened? tampered with the stability of space-time. The multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. The problem is you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Hello, Peter. <laughs> wow. Right? Oh, my goodness. That's oh, crazy. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, 
Yeah. Can't, uh, there we go. I was trying to get out of full screen there. No, that's okay. So, right. um, I, gosh, how do we want to approach this? Because, I mean, there's so much to talk about. Let me, let me talk about my favorite part. Can I talk about my favorite part? Yeah, go ahead. Dude, Doc Ock. <laughs> that's my Doc favorite part, Ock. too. I, I went giggly as a school kid on that. I was just like, holy cow. And they got um, Alfred Molina to play him. Yes, yes. Which I thought he was great. What That was Spider-Man 2, right? Yep. yep. I, I think that's my favorite Spider-Man movie, too. I mean, um, especially out of the Tobey oh. Maguire series. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I love Doc Ock in that. He was so great. Yeah, um, he was really good. Yeah. And to see him come back, I'm like, yeah, this is great. I'm so excited. <laughs> That is so cool. So that that opens up the discussion, though. So we uh-huh. see Doc Ock, which is obviously yes. a Tobey Maguire villain, mm-hmm. and then we see we see the pumpkin bomb, and we hear the Green Goblin's laugh, and I'm pretty sure that's William Defoe's laugh. So mm-hmm. that's two of um, Tobey Maguire's six. Well, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh. But that's two of Tobey Maguire's uh, Spider-Man villains. Mm-hmm. So we have those. We see Jamie Foxx Electro. Electro. Okay. He's a, he makes an appearance. So that's an Andrew okay. Garfield um, villain. Uh-huh. uh-huh. So are we definitely getting the three different Spider-Mans? I mean, we're getting their vi- all you know villains from each Spider-Man, obviously. So that mm-hmm. brings the question, Are have we all been predicting what's going to happen? Are, are we predicting correctly? Are we getting the three different Spider-Mans in one film? Yeah. I'm hoping so. I hope it means we I, are. I, I heard that they're in there. I heard that 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 um, that we've got Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire in, that, <gasps> in this one. So cool. So cool. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. I am really excited. I am really, and when yeah. when Doc Ock appears, and I got chills. I got I chills. I was like, "What? Hello, Peter." Now, here's a question for you: Is he Peter? Is he? We assume, by the way, the trailer is cut that he's talking to, uh, you know, Tom Holland, Peter Parker. Correct. But is he really talking to? The, Could he actually be talking to uh, the Tobey Maguire. Maguire Spider-Man? Oh, that's a good question. See, I, I didn't even think about that. I I just assumed, yeah, he's talking to the Tom Holland one. Um, yeah, the way that's, it's cut, it makes you think that. But you know, trailers, you know, they get try to they try to get fancy with the trailers. And, oh yeah, yeah, know, I agree. I agree. So yeah, maybe he is actually talking to the uh, uh, um, Tobey. Toby Maguire Spider Man. That mm-hmm. ooh, I didn't even think about that. That's a good question. Really yeah. good question. Because would he know him as you know? Would the new Doc Ock, or the Doc Ock would know Tom Holland as being the Peter? You know, right? Peter and we Paul know Paul. that we know that he knew who Peter was. We knew that he, we know that he knew uh, Spider Man's identity. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Would he recognize? Tom Holland as Peter Parker because he obviously does not look like uh, Tobey Maguire, you know. Right. So, oh, that's a good yeah, question. So I'm I'm curious. I'm I'm curious to see how that you know how it plays out. So so here's the other question I just mentioned it a moment ago. Would we have the Sinister Six in this? And oh. it takes all three Spider Man to fight the Sinister Six. Oh, I'm I definitely think that's what's going on. I I well again we got Doc Ock, we got Green Goblin, we got Electro. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get Vulture, uh, Michael Keaton, Michael is freaking Keaton. As, is he coming back for that? From what I hear, he's coming back. So, oh, yeah. if he's coming back, you got Vulture. So, oh, and I'm still loving that the fact that we get Michael Keaton in a huge Marvel film, and then next year we're gonna get Michael Keaton in a huge DC, DC. film. Oh, so excited! Uh, yeah. Michael Keaton is one of my all-time favorite. He has actors. crossed the streams. He's in both, <laughs> and he's universe. so good in both universes. Yeah, he is. I, he I is. loved him as Vulture. I thought he was fantastic. He was great as Vulture. Oh, great he's, as he's Vulture! Good. It's so. Wait, so who else? Who else in the Sinister Six? Well, see, the Sinister Six changes. It's not always the same six villains. 
So okay, um, so we'll have six villains, right? Okay, so who are the villains that could be that we've seen? Well, so so we far, know for sure, Doc Ock. Yep, Doc Ock. We know for sure Electro, right? We now know from the trailer. Well, we know from the trailer Doc Ock and Green Goblin. Green Goblin, uh-huh. uh huh, is going to be in there. So then we got those. Then um, most likely Vulture. Most okay, most likely Vulture. So that gives us so four. That that gives us four. So then there was Rhino. Who was in? Ooh. Who was? Who's been? Who we have seen? That's my my point. Who? Okay, so for the last two, who have we seen that could fit into the Sinister Six? That's sure because Rhino. Rhino came in at the end of was it the first Andrew Garfield where he was at, or is it? I can't remember if it was the first. Or I think the second so. It was one. Paul Giamatti, wasn't it? That yeah, was I think playing, so. Was playing and that's that. when the little kid stands up to him. I absolutely right. love that scene. That is fantastic. Yeah. And then Spidey shows back up and he's like, I knew you'd come back. Yeah. Yeah. So, great. Great scene. Yeah, that was, yeah. So then um, um, who else could there be Who, as far as Sinister Six goes that we've seen or may not have seen? And it's a surprise kind of a thing. Uh, who else would make up the Sinister Six? I wonder. Oh, see, everybody, we do our research on the fly sometimes. <laughs> That's to us. See who it could be. That's us. Okay, so um, right now I'm looking at a Wikipedia article. And, on the what, on who the Sinister Six is and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Holy cow, there's a Sinister 12. <laughs> Yikes. Wow. Um, let's see. That's oh, kind of interesting. There's a Superior Six. Oh, my gosh, a Sinister 66? Wow, I didn't know know all this. That's the whole multiverse happening. Look yeah, out, everybody! My goodness. Um, let's see, I'm just trying to figure out who the the main ones normally are. Uh, right. Well, either way, um, it'd be interesting to see who we all have in there. Well, in this Venom, one picture I'm looking I'm at, kidding. I'm just teasing about the Venom thing. What's, what's that? <laughs> Venom could be in there. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> well, you know, now it's funny you say that because there is a scene in there that it looks like something like Venom, similar to Venom. And there are some people who are speculating, could that be Venom? There's other people that are speculating that that could be just some of uh, Doctor Strange's magic. Mm -hmm. um, and then mm -hmm. uh, there was another possibility that was thrown out um some people even thought it might actually be lizard um which i mean that that's, oh he was in it yeah. could be right yeah, that's a possibility back, i don't know uh, that's a good question and, and this picture know. i'm looking at it shows vulture it shows hobgoblin um, okay but we know the green goblin's been a part of it too it shows electro um black cat lizard um some of them i can't make out here but yeah, oh, you're looking so, at a picture of them. Yeah, I'm just looking at a picture of them. So I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't mind seeing Lizard again. Lizard was a good uh, enemy. That would be kind of cool. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and and yeah, I, I'm not sure who we get for the other two, but I'm pretty sure we're getting Green Goblin, Oc Doc Ock, Electro, and Vulture. Those four, I think, are. For the most our, part, our, confirmed. We're gonna we're gonna get those. Okay, right. Um, you know, definitely those three because we see those three in the trailer. They're they're clear and prominent. So definitely yeah. those three. Um, okay. And I'm like eighty percent sure Vulture is going to be in it. Maybe ninety percent sure Vulture is going to be in it. So. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, why would they not have Vulture in it? <laughs> Well, you're a Michael Keaton fan, though, too. By the way. Yeah, so you're right. I, you may be a little biased. Just saying. <laughs> no, nah, no, not at all. Not at all. So here, here's another question, though. Okay, go for it. Are we actually seeing Doctor Strange? Is that really Doctor Strange? Why, why would you say that? Because he's acting a little unlike Doctor Strange. Oh, you mean like the st stuck up uh, <laughs> it all? Wow, <laughs> Doctor Strange. I um, I think that's a bit of Cumberbatch, but 
<laughs> right. No, I, I say it is Dr. Strange. No offense. No offense to Cumberbatch, but sometimes he does come off that way. <laughs> yeah. No, I say it is Dr. Strange. And here's why. One, Wong is there. So Wong is, you know, Shang, he's supposed to be in Shang-Chi, by the way, Shang-Chi or however you say that. Um, he's supposed to be in that one, too, by the way. Who's so, strange or Wong? Wong oh, is in okay. Shang-Chi. Okay. Is, so, is he walking? Is he like walking over to Shang-Chi in this scene when, when he's walking through that portal? <laughs> yeah. Ha, 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 ha. Maybe. Maybe. That may be interesting to see. Um, but that will be interesting. So uh, I'll tell you this. Um but he recognizes him. Okay. So he recognizes Strange. Then Strange is doing the spell. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Not just anybody can do the spell. Uh-huh. But there's a there's a theory. There's a theory out there of somebody who could do the spell that that a lot of fans are wanting in the MCU and they haven't got him yet. What's the theory? Mephisto. Uh-huh. Mephisto. Some people think that Mephi- this is actually Mephist- Mephisto, Mephisto, however you pronounce it. Sure, Mephisto. Posing yeah. as Doctor Strange. And because, I don't know, it's very unlike Doctor Strange to go against what he knows better about. And he obviously knows better than to do this spell. Um, let's face it, this spell is going to cause kind of a flashpoint to take you over to DC for a second. Uh, what happens when when Barry goes back in time? He screws everything up, hmm. and I know he's not going back in time, but he's changing. He is changing the time stream, and it's going to screw things up. So, and they're saying that that Strange would not realistically do that because he, he would okay, knowingly he wouldn't knowingly right. do that. So right. that's that, that's well, why that takes us back to. Um, Oh, that takes us back to Marvel Avengers uh, uh, Endgame. Because when they're going back to Uh get the stones and the Ancient One was talking about how, you know, all the different, you know, being careful with the time things or something like that. So, right. uh, So that would be the attitude of them. That's an interesting theory. That's an interesting theory. There is. Um, Look, I'm not 100% sold that that's who it is. Because um, I got to say, I was just talking about this earlier this week, actually. I uh, made the call during, uh, okay, I always forget, Endgame and what's what's the two? Uh, Infinity War and Endgame? In, yeah, Infinity War and Endgame. I made uh-huh. the call in Infinity War that Hulk wasn't actually Hulk. I kept saying that Hulk was actually Loki um, because Hulk wasn't, he wasn't himself through the whole movie. He was afraid of of Thanos and Hulk is never, and I hated that. I really, really hated it. Part of that's because I like the character Hulk and I know mm -hmm. Hulk by, by reading comic books, Hulk mm -hmm. is never afraid of anything. Period. Yeah, that was in that was the first one. That was Infinity War. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. I didn't like that storytelling. Um, yeah, that was a bad. Uh, they they messed up on that, in my opinion. So yeah, I mean, I you I know you wanted tension in the stories and stuff. I was like, really? So yeah, that was not the right way to do that, though. Now, if right. they would have done it like I called it, if they would have made that actually Loki, and Loki was posing as Hulk, because I can see Loki being afraid. Of Thanos, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, I would have liked that much better. So I made that call. So I'm not. I'm not sticking to this. It's Mephisto. So you messed up on one call. So you're giving yourself leeway, a back door to get out. You're of darn your right. I'm not. <laughs> All right, but hey, everybody, if you're, yeah. Let let me do this real quick. If everybody's listening, if you're listening to this, get on our Facebook page. I would love to get your opinion about this. Yeah, the Mephisto okay. thing because I. I don't know. I don't know how I would feel about it. That's interesting, though. I'm not 100% sold that's who it is, but I think it's an interesting idea. That That's that's the way I'm going to put it out there. Right. Didn't we see a sign saying that Spider-Man was a devil? Yes. In yes. the trailer? Yep. Yep. And, and our friend Andrew and so- Staples believes that's a 
that's a uh, uh, um, that's a sign saying that Mephisto will be in this movie too. <laughs> Pardon the pun. It is a sign, and it is a sign <laughs> right, for us. Right. That that's, could be Mephisto. <laughs> it's literally a uh, sign. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I didn't listen to Andrew's podcast on that. I need to listen to that and see what he thinks about it. Uh, he did a good job. Did he? Uh, hmm. What's his podcast called again? Uh, the Multiverse of Andrew. Ah, oh, more multiverse. Stuff. I'm going to have to give him a hard <laughs> That's time. That's probably why you haven't listened to it, because you're like, you see oh, multiverse. Nice. The word multiverse in it. Yeah, yeah and just, Stephen just turns it off. <laughs> yeah, click. No, I'm just kidding. Um. No, I'm sure Andrew does a great job. Um, so, uh, hmm, gosh, <laughs> golly. So, so here's what I'm processing. Sorry, everybody. My brain is just like, oh, my goodness, all this crazy stuff. If it's Mephisto, that makes you rethink all the scenes that you see in that trailer where we do see Strange. Because Strange is in it. Right. So, a, as a character. so Well, and we also see a scene that looks like Spider-Man and Strange are battling. Why would Spider-Man battle Strange? I don't know. <laughs> I got you on that one. <laughs> well, are you talking about when they're on the train? I just figure they're traveling somewhere or trying to deal with them, all the multiverse changes I, or something. So. I don't know. I don't know. I well, don't... okay, here's the other thing. You do see when he's talking – well, no. When, he, when he's talking to him in the beginning, you know, there's snow inside the whole, you know, sanctum. Right. And he's wearing a coat, which looks kind of goofy and kind of funny. Yeah, it looks yeah. weird. I, and he's wearing a hoodie, too. Did you notice that? Yeah. He's wearing yeah. a coat yeah. and a hoodie, and it kind of looks similar to his normal costume, but it, it was it's Look. like it's like if I did cheap cosplay. <laughs> right. If I was trying to cosplay Doctor Strange very cheaply, that's exactly what I would wear. <laughs> right by golly we're gonna see some new uh you know next next uh or this upcoming spirit halloween stores are not gonna have the the jacket you know the the cosplay jacket for uh strange as a winter coat right, right. <laughs> so okay we do see that and he does seem kind of silly in that and stuff like that so. and he gives the wink too you notice that and it's, it's right. just like um, did you watched Wandavision, didn't you? No, oh. I haven't seen Wandavision. All right, all right. But you all can right. spoil it. It's no big deal. I, um, I, spoilers don't bother me. Oh, what's her face in Wandavision? I can't think of her name. The Agatha. Yeah, Agatha. Thank you. Agatha always gives us wink. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it's like, I don't know. It just seemed weird. What if it was Agatha and not Mephisto? Oh, I, you know, that's, hey, that's a possibility. Cause I, I, I think at one point we're going to see Wanda showing up in, in this stuff too. So that could be a way to connect with her. Right. Um, I don't know. This is all getting all messy. This whole multiverse stuff, because this serves as also another, another lead in into the, the multi- Doctor Strange multiverse of madness, madness. Right. Yep. Yep. Yep, which is what the end of Loki was, too. The end of Loki, we saw the beginning of the Multiverse of Madness. Mm -hmm. So here's another Mm -hmm. question. Does what is going on in Spider-Man No Way Home affect... (laughs) All those branches, all the branching and all the stuff that we see, too? Right. Or it's so easy to move to that because it does happen Or does does Doctor Strange do the spell at the same time that Sylvie kills uh, the uh, what's he who remains? Yeah, he who he, 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 Bob, <laughs> Bob, right, Bob. I think we named him Bob, didn't we? I think we did name him Bob, kind of a thing. <laughs> Maybe so. Well, I, you know, I, mm, this get this is hurting my brain. Everybody, holy moly! That's what's fun this about this. Like, that's not what's fun. I hurt my brain. No, it's supposed Multiverse. to make you think. It makes you think, dude. Okay. All right. All right. So, okay. So, um, so we got Doctor Strange. Is that Doctor Strange? We're talking about is it Mephisto mm-hmm. or some other person who's who's messing this? Up? I don't know. I, uh, I'm gonna throw another know. one out to you. Okay, go for it. So, if we're getting Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Mm-hmm. Is there a possibility that Gwen 
We'll come back. That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Could, That's could, going farther beyond. Could we even get Spider Gwen? Ooh. <laughs> that be cool. How cool would that be? That this would be. Opens up the possibilities of Spider Gwen. Yeah. No, nah, because now, uh, now we're going back to, well, I don't know. That's too much. That's too much. I can't <laughs> handle it. I can't handle it, everybody. That's too much. Steven, no, Steven's no, brain no, just no. went pop. Yep, it just popped. So we'll just say, let's just keep it with uh, let's just keep it with what we see in the trailer right now. <laughs> Look, it, it's a possibility. I mean, it could happen. Uh, well, there's a lot of things that could be the possibility. Sure. Um, and uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm leaving I, I mean, that one open. I'm hoping that they yeah, they open he, the door for a Spider Gwen. Uh, yeah, um, that would be interesting. Oh, can you imagine the Spider-Man movies we can get out of this? We could get Spider-Gwen. Uh, we could get, um, uh, oh, my gosh. Uh, Spider-Ham. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if we get Spider-Ham in, in live action. <laughs> um, I will say Howard the Duck did make an appearance in one of the What Ifs, which was hilarious. I love that. Right. In the second, I didn't see, I've, I've only seen the first what if. I haven't watched the last two. I guess there's been two more since. Yeah, then. there's been two more. There's been a uh, a Black Panther. Well, technically not a Black Panther, but a uh, Star Lord episode. <laughs> if it was T'Challa, Star Lord. Right. If T'Challa became, which I, I believe is his voice. I think he still voiced it. Is. it. From my understanding, it is. That's like his last. Yeah, that was his last uh, work that he did before he passed. Which that's pretty yeah. cool. That was neat. That's cool. Um, it mm-hmm. was. It was an interesting episode. I. I, I liked it. I thought it was different. Um, mm-hmm. kind of weird having him as Star Lord, but it was like okay, it's kind of cool. I. I. I, I dig right. it. It's. It's pretty neat. Um, I prefer Star Lord the way he w- was, but you know, it, it's yeah. a fun diversion. I'll give it that. How, how was, uh, so what was the latest one on? The I didn't one watch the movie? latest one yet. I, right. I only watched the first and the second one. I still got to watch. I heard after, I, for those, I, th- I guess for people to review or different YouTubers and stuff, they got like the first three or four episodes and people said they got bet. They keep getting better as they go. Cool. So, cool. Well, so well, I mean, I know some people had some hangups on the first one. Um, I enjoyed it though. I, I, I enjoyed it the first one. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, and part of that is it's what if, you know. Um, mm-hmm. I, I'm not looking at this like okay, uh, you know, um, Ca- uh, Captain Carter is going to take over as as Captain America. I, I don't, right. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, no, it's just what if stories. What yeah, if, it's you just know, it's upon it's, their what if comics. Yeah, right. it, it's a fun diversion from the norm. Yes, and, and I don't right. think there's anything wrong with that. I'm fine with that. Um, I don't know. All this mixing of this multiverse stuff on this one is going to hurt my brain. <laughs> I'm just going to have to sit and enjoy the action and not try to think about it too hard because my brain can't handle it. <laughs> my little pea brain can't handle it all. <laughs> I can't handle the multiverse. <laughs> you want the truth? You can't handle the truth. That's right. You want the multiverse? You can't handle the multiverse. multiverse. I can't handle the multiverse. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my goodness. Okay, so. (coughs) You need Spider-Man on that wall. (laughs) Right. Sorry, I'm choking here. We're mixing. Uh, we're we're mixing. Uh, what was the name of that movie? All of a sudden, I can't. Th- a few good men. A few good men. Jack Nicholson. That's a great scene. One of the best scenes in cinematic history. Oh, you ain't that, kidding. That whole scene. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that scene. I <laughs> you love need Spider Man at wall. You. Yeah, that's good. I like that way. You can't handle the multiverse. Oh. My okay. Gosh. I I got another one that might blow your blow your mind away. oh gosh i can't <laughs> handle this we're, we're not even halfway through the episode <laughs> and i'm like i can't handle it go ahead okay go for it okay I'm did, listening. did you watch the uh marvel netflix uh episodes daredevil punisher i watched um i watched everything uh actually i did not watch punisher i have not watched that yet first season yet 
but I watched everything up to when they did the whole crossover. Okay. And once okay. they did the crossover, I, I had just, you know, I, I was kind of done with it. Um, the Defenders. The Defenders. Mm-hmm. I tried watching the Defenders and I, yeah, I was like, eh, I, I don't like this. And I it, didn't, it, I didn't like, okay. I didn't like Iron Fist at all. No. I was bored out of my mind <laughs> in that show. Yeah, we didn't. Gosh, that's a whole other subject. But anyway, yeah. go ahead. Continue on. Go with your thing. But like I'll you, tell you, you um, the other three shows, uh, Daredevil, Punisher, and uh, what was the, the other one we got? Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. All watched, three of those are. I watched the first season of Jessica, the first season of Cage, uh, and then I watched two seasons. Oh, Cage. I like Cage, too. Daredevil. I thought Cage was good also. Mm-hmm. First season. First season. Anyway, that's a whole. We could do a whole another podcast. Sure. On sure. So anyway, well, the, the, the point is, how did you like Daredevil? I love Daredevil. I thought it was the good. best out of all of them. Good. Because you might see him in Spider-Man. <laughs> what? So if you pay attention to when Peter Parker is being interrogated and they they show just like the arm of somebody and it's alluded to that his lawyer's there with him some people that, believe Matt Murdock? yeah some people believe his lawyer may be Matt Murdock and it may be the Matt Murdock from the Netflix Daredevil that's uh Charlie Boom. Cox right yeah i think that's who it was the, so they're going to cross they're crossing several streams oh yeah oh. yeah I mean, if we can well, get he Daredevil, does a great job as Daredevil. I thought it was a great Daredevil. Oh, he was. He was fantastic. And and <gasps> what if they bring up Ben Affleck and then they <laughs> Ben Affleck's cross the DC Marvel back and forth? I'm that, just that ain't happening. <laughs> no, that's that's not happening. I don't see that happening. If that does happen, I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. And and we're gonna get Ryan Reynolds as Green Lantern too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Right. If uh, if if we get Ben Affleck Daredevil, we better get Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern. That's all I got to say. Would that be funny if there was a Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern meets Ryan Reynolds Deadpool Daredevil or Deadpool multiverse thing? Well, That'd the closest funny. thing we got was at the end of Deadpool when where he shot him, <laughs> where, where he kills himself reading the Green Lantern script. Yeah, that yeah. which was pretty funny. Oh. Even though I enjoyed the Green Lantern movie, I, I did. Hey, everybody, that's on our Kofi page. Our, yeah, our uh, Green Lantern. We kind of watched the movie and stuff. Yeah, so. we watched it for the tenth anniversary. Actually, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. Okay, so back to Spider Man. So Spider Man, Spider Man, Spider Man. Okay, so mind blown. Okay, so Charlie Cox coming as uh, uh, Matt Murdock. Now that's a rumor. That's not nothing verified yet, but that that is a rumor I'd, out there. I'd be surprised to see that. I, I would be surprised to see that, um, just because that's Netflix. You know, and Netflix Marvel TV series seem to be like the the hated stepchild of the you know the Marvel. Except TV. I've heard that they've gained the rights to those shows. I. I I don't know. I, well, they've always had the rights. No, no. You know, I've they, heard they've gained the rights to bring those over to Disney Plus. Because there's rumors that Netflix. Yeah, the Netflix shows. There's there's rumors that some of those may be continued over on yeah. Disney Plus. That's interesting. That'd be interesting to see if they do that. Do they have any rated R movies on Netflix? I mean, on Disney Plus. Um, in America now. For those of you who have a VPN, I'm just saying, <laughs> go to Canada and then open up your Disney Plus and you get a whole nother box. You get a whole nother section, which is all kinds of different movies and stuff. Really? It's really fascinating. Yes. Like yes. what? Like what's on there? Uh, it's been a while since I looked at it, but it's a whole thing where you get like PG movies. There's rated R movies and stuff like that on there. What rated not- R movies are they showing? Nothing, nothing major. Uh, I can't remember. I just remember I was shocked by it. Wow. Um, 
but I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't turn on my. I don't turn on my VPN when we're doing our podcast. Well, I understand that. I understand that. So I would turn it on and take a look, but I no. That's we'll, we'll have to do. We'll do another. Okay, I'm making notes. Marvel <laughs> Netflix episode, <laughs> VPN, Disney Plus episode. Well, that's probably just news, but kind of a thing. So well, we'll I'm. Bring it up in a- I'm excited about the prospect of maybe uh, him coming into the Spider-Man movie. I think that would be really cool. Mm-hmm. And and mm-hmm. that that way they bring in that Daredevil into the Marvel MCU, which yeah. again I I think Daredevil was a fantastic show. It was great. It was a good show. The first two seasons were really good. They really were. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, come on, you got Scott Glenn. I mean, <laughs> right? right, right, right. Of course, Scott Glenn almost reminded me of of his role in uh, what was that visual movie? The 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 other Zack Snyder movie, Sucker Punch. I've never Sucker seen Punch. it. He, he, he played the old man in Sucker Punch kind of a thing, too. That old man character oh, kind okay. of thing. I uh, but he was much it. better. But he was much better, much more better, much more better. In, the, uh, in, in the Daredevil show. He was really good in the Daredevil show. Gotcha. Okay. You know, really good. Well. I forgot what they called him. I want Matt Murdock. I don't, I don't know. I I don't I don't think that's going to happen. Personally, that's my opinion. I don't think that's going to happen just cuz Netflix Marvel shows were the stepchild, the red-headed stepchild. <laughs> uh it, kind of a thing and so I I, I don't see that happening. Yeah, uh, but, interesting theory, but I I don't I pee pee on your theory. <laughs> on your dog devil theory. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's a theory. I'm not I'm not saying it's going to happen. I want it to happen. I would like it. Oh to yeah, happen. absolutely, absolutely. He was a great daredevil. Absolutely. Now I haven't heard anyone say that that uh, Gwen Stacy's going to make an appearance, but that's just me going. Yeah, I want that to happen. That'd be fun. <laughs> that would be so much fun. That I mean, the possibility is there that she can still back be Emma Stone for it. Yeah, that'd be something. Yeah. That would be something. So I, I am all for that. That's that's. Freaking yeah. awesome. So Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, okay. So what else about this? Uh, let's talk about uh if you're okay with this, moving on. I, I love talking about the villains. Um I see on my Gmail or not my Gmail, but my Google search on the cast of the Spider Man No Way Home movie, and William Defoe is down as Green Goblin. Nice. Nice. So uh now, you know, if that's I, I only have one issue with that. I, okay, go for it. One, I, I thought William Defoe was a fantastic Green Goblin. I loved yes. him. I loved mm-hmm. him. Great I, actor yes. for it. Yes, excellent actor. Um, fabulous, yeah, fabulous. And and he's cross streams because he's in Aquaman. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So yeah, so we got we got another actor who in Spider Man <laughs> of all right. places who's who's crossing the streams into both universes. I love it. Um, but, but my only issue, what, what are you laughing? No, I'm just laughing. You're right about Spider-Man. Spider-Man is the hub of the multiverse. <laughs> That's uh, right. <laughs> of not all Loki. the multiverses. <laughs> right. They're crossing over here in no way home. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. So the only thing that I didn't like was his costume. Agreed. I was thinking the exact that, same thing. That's the only, his costume sucked. So I hope they get well. Okay, look at the picture behind you. It looks like for Electro, they gave him a new costume. Yeah, it does. If if that is if that is. But the, now I think this is realistic. this is just a fan thing. I mean, because fan art. Gwen Stacy's okay. on this poster too. She's she's there with the and, Andrew right, so Garfield. That must be a okay. So it's probably right. fan art. All right. So here's here. But on mine, well, you can't see mine. You can't see. Electro. It looks like the old Electro. Anyway, maybe they give them new costumes. I'm sure. I, they I would will. hope so. I would hope so. Um, but here's the thing. I, I I like Green Goblin. I like him to physically change, like he did in the comic book. You know, in the comic book, he himself was a goblin. He it he, wasn't a mask. It, it, was it a, wasn't a mech thing. suit. <laughs> you know that mm-hmm. that was my that was my biggest hang up about the Green Goblin in in the first Spider Man movie. Um, but other than that, William Defoe, I'm excited about. I, I, yeah, he's yeah. a great actor. He's a great yeah. actor. So fantastic. I, I'm I'm thrilled he's going to be back. I just hope they do a better job on the suit. They do something different. Okay, let's bring up something here. Um, 
you know, we've had discussions about Spider-Man movies sure. in particular having too many villains in play. Good question. Good question. Are we, you know, and just how that detracts from the movie. And now, that's this, that's the reason Spider-Man 3, I think, failed. Agreed. And we've got a whole podcast where we have that discussion right. uh, where we talk about that. Um, but suffice to say, you know, we – we agreed about having too many villains. Now that was Sony. This is Marvel. I mean, with Sony, you know, right. kind of a thing. Right. But Marvel's in creative control. Do you think they will do it better in this? Because obviously, we're not going to. I think they're just going to be cameo shots. In other words, they're not going to be major parts of the film. They are. They are place cards or um, like you got a Christmas tree. And you got this Christmas tree, and that Christmas tree is a beautiful tree all on its own. Uh-huh. But, you know, we want to spruce it up a little bit. Pardon the pun, spruce tree. Um, but let, let's say, you know, we want to put this little ornament here and this little ornament here. See, I think the whole multiverse and the struggle of Peter Parker living with two identities um, is our Christmas tree. That's our main theme. Okay. And then the star at the top is you know the 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 little you know everyone's got that little cap that they put on their tree you know whether it's a star or some angel or something i think that's dr strange having dr strange in the film i think he's because it's multiverse he's going to be a major part of that and then we get we get toby mcguire we get andrew garfield you know we get them those are ornaments on the you know on the tree we get electro we get you know um green goblin we get Doc Ock, you know, those are all ornaments on the tree. Sure. So we're, uh, what's really getting fleshed out story-wise is, which was the, the problem with Spider-Man 3, was trying to create these character arcs. Uh-huh. There was too many character arcs that were happening. I, I don't think they'll do that. They'll introduce them as the fun little, you know, sprinkles or the fun little ornaments on the tree for the film. That's what they're going to do. As far as we're not going to get character arts, so we I don't think we're going to see a lot of screen time with them. Um, you don't think we're you don't think we're going to get a lot of spring, screen time with Doc Ock? We will get some, but it won't be a major part of it. I don't think so. I'm poo pooing on your idea. Zip poo poo. Zip poo poo. Zip poo poo. Because this is the Sinister we'll Six. It. You think it's Sinister Six. It's We're the Sinister, get Sinister Six. Six. We're getting the Sinister We're Six. We're finally getting the Sinister, Sinister yeah. Six movie. I can't they, say that six times fast. They have, been, they have been alluding to the Sinister Six for so long. This is it. We're getting the Sinister Six. And okay. whether that means that all three Spider-Men are going to battle him, or if it's going to be Spider-Man and Doctor Strange, one of the two, we're getting that those versus the Sinister Six. That's what I think is happening. Okay. All and, right. And Let's we're, see. Everybody and we're getting the Sinister there. Six from across the multiverse. So they're not all mm-hmm. from from uh, Toby or Toby. They're not all from Any one Tom of the Holland. Spider-Man right. universe. They're being universe. pulled from all the Spider-Man universes, which okay. I think is a great idea. So mm-hmm. I poo poo on your idea. Okay. All right. I'm just saying they're ornaments on the tree, but you say that's good. the team up of them is going to be the big fight at the end. And here's that's the thing. That's what I'm hearing you say. Here's I like the, that. I like that. Here's the thing. Okay. Yes, we agree. Spider-Man 3 failed because too many, too many characters. Okay. Now, the issue, though, was they tried to do a origin story for everybody in that film. Mm-hmm. It's too mm-hmm. much. They're not mm-hmm. doing that with these. They're dropping them in. Boom, 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 boom. Which is exactly what we talked about in one of our previous podcasts. We, we you know, I, I said that both Brendan and I were like, look, if we're getting any more Batman stories, I don't want to see a Batman origin. I, I've seen it enough. I, mm-hmm. I don't need to see another bat if I see another Batman origin, I'm gonna punch somebody in the face. Um, right. I said the same I'll thing make about sure not to go watch the next Batman movie with you. <laughs> I'm I'm coming there in two weeks, so. You know. <laughs> um, I said the same thing about Spider Man. I I do not want to see. I've seen Peter Parker get bit by a spider enough. I know it happens. 
I don't need that. Nobody in the world needs to see that. And mm-hmm. and a lot of these uh, villains, we all know the origins. They're not telling us the origins. They are dropping them in, and it looks like they're going to drop them in and drop them in in action. That's mm-hmm. what I want. And Marvel's already proved they can do that with all the different Avengers. How many mm-hmm. characters do we have throughout all the Avengers films? Mm-hmm. How many villains do we have in them? They work. They can do it. Marvel has okay. proved themselves. It, it'll it'll work. This I have faith in this movie. I I think this is going to be. Mm-hmm. I, I think this could be the Marvel movie of the year. I really really do. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. He's put it down. He's got money on it. <laughs> I'm calling it Marvel movie of the year. All right, all right. I, I'll I don't know yet. I haven't seen Shang Chi, and uh, I love me some uh, martial arts action. So we'll see what happens. But this is freaking Spider Man. <laughs> Come on, uh huh? Yeah. Spider Man is one of the most beloved characters in all Marvel universe. All right. So what we'll do is we'll watch it. Watch it opening weekend wherever we're at, and uh, and then we'll we'll discuss the movie and then have a little smackdown on what the <laughs> best Marvel movie is. I'll bet you if Theron was with us, he'd tell you the same thing too. Probably would. And Theron's a big martial arts fan. I got a feeling he's gonna like Shang Chi. I don't know. Shang Chi. Shang Chi. I apologize for not saying it correctly. I I don't know the proper pronunciation of it. That's it, it, I've heard it Shang Chi, Shang Chi, and all. I actually I need to watch the trailer because I think I actually pronounce it in the trailer in the movie. Okay. I actually do pronounce it. You know, uh, so. All I know is if we do an episode on it, we got to figure out how to say the name, <laughs> right? <laughs> Jeez. That'll be our September 11th bonus episode. <laughs> so I, I have another thing to bring up though. Yeah, go for it. So it looks like everything I'm seeing. This movie is based on a comic story called Spider-Man One More Day. And in okay, sp- what's that one about? Now, see, this is another reason. This is another connection to Mephisto. Um, okay. In Spider-Man One More Day, he actually does approach Doctor Strange about doing this spell to make everyone forget who Peter Parker is. Okay, Doctor Strange refuses to do it, so he goes to Mephisto, and Mephisto's the one who does it. That's why some would say that it's Mephisto. Yep. Mm hmm. Hmm. And just the fact that he's kind of acting a little different, a little non Doctor Strange, and Hmm. somebody posted a meme I just saw yesterday. It had the scene with. Doctor Strange standing in front of the fireplace holding the mug and, mm-hmm. and you know, where he gives the wink and everything. Mm-hmm. And then there's a scene in the comic book of Mephisto almost in an identical position. <gasps> oh, well, you, you got to find that meme and put it on our, okay. on our page. I will. I will. I will. I'll put it up there. So Okay. All right. Well, hey, everybody, you guys hearing that? Mike is giving his facts behind why he thinks it's a home of Fisto story. I, I think they have they have good reason to believe it. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Um, I'm still I'm not still I'm still not a hundred percent sold on the idea. I mean, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think they present some good facts of why they think this is Mephisto. And right, I think it could happen. We we could possibly happen, and Mephisto, right. from what I understand, is tied to Wanda again. Bringing could that could bring Wanda into the, you know, back into the MCU movies, yeah, so on and so yeah. forth. So um, huh. that could be another oh. good connection. All right, all right. <laughs> where's Mephisto in the? Where's he in WandaVision? He never made an appearance in one of it. I'm just saying in the comic books, there's connection with those characters. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Okay, 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 okay. It's all in the mystical, you know, magical Absolutely. world. Right. Which would make sense within Multiverse of Madness. He would fit in that that 
those styles of story, right? Which yeah. would be WandaVision and Doctor Strange, and so do you think? So we're moving into this new phase. Um, is is he the big bad guy then for the, or is he like a Loki Ooh. character, more of a Loki character? So, so like, you're asking if guy. if he's Thanos of the next of the new phase, right? Yeah, that's a possibility. They they could be uh, building him up to be either that or it's. Uh, Bob is <laughs> Bob. Bob. Oh, that's true. It could be Bob. That's right. Uh, so we caught, we have several Bobs, you know, the well, he yeah. who should not be named Bob. No, not he should not be named. That's, that's Harry Potter. Sorry. My bad. My bad. He who remains right. He who remains, uh, you know, kind of a thing. So yeah, what is, the he, bad, what is his actual name? Is it thing? Thong? I think. It's I can. Kang. Kang. It's, it's a Kang. Kang. Yeah. Uh, forgive me. Kang the Conqueror. I, right. I'm not. Kang the Conqueror. I'm not up on Kang. So, I. This was actually that, my interview. You know, that's who they introduce in, in in Loki. So it's tough to say. Um, and maybe just Mephisto's putting fuel on the fire. Right. Out of a thing. Hmm. I don't know. That's interesting. Uh. I don't know. I'd, I'd love to get everybody else's input. Again, I'm going to ask everybody, get on our Facebook page and give me your thoughts. It would help me because I, I'm, my mind is blown and I can't process. <laughs> it's all this. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> well, obviously, we got a lot of cool things that can, that are going to happen for sure and could possibly happen out of this Spider-Man movie. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It It, it could be. You know, here's the one thing about multiverse stories is, and I saw an interview with someone and I forgot who it was. And I, and I meant to make a mental note to remember all of it. I can't remember now, but they, they said one of the problem with multiverse stories is that they can be too complicated for everybody and people just kind of check out and, and maybe that's my problem. My little pea brain can't handle the multiverse again. You can't handle the multiverse. <laughs> well, Marvel has committed to the multiverse, so <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, with the ending of Loki and the fact that uh, yeah. Doctor Strange's next movie is called the Multiverse, the multiverse of Madness. Of madness and so all that kind of stuff. they yeah. they are they are married to this idea at least for the next phase, anyway. Yeah, at least for this part of the next phase. Right. That's yeah. what I mean. That's what I mean for this upcoming phase, it's, it's going to be multiverse. So, um, yeah, you either get on board or check out. It's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's it. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, it will be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how things kind of flesh out a little bit more with all this. Um, or, yeah, my brain hurts because of all <laughs> the things it could be. It is, you know, it, it is serving as a good, uh, for lack of a better term, web of different Spider-Man stories or within the whole Marvel universe itself. That's awesome. And, so we've got an amazing, spectacular, and now web of Spider-Man. <laughs> right. The web of Spider-Man, right? <laughs> I, I don't know all his titles because, man, he has a bunch of titles. There's a bunch. Just like He's Batman like, oh, has a bunch of titles, too. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Shadow of the Bat, <laughs> Dark Knight, um, Brave that? and the Bold. <laughs> Brave and the Bull. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tons, tons. The amazing Batman. The spectacular Batman. The <laughs> world of Spider Man. <laughs> I know. I just tease it. So uh, I, I do appreciate you mentioning about that story. What was the name of that story? Uh, the comic book story? One more day. On? I'm thinking about one going and looking for that because I kind of want to read it now. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be looking. It should be on Marvel Unlimited, I would imagine. It might be. I we yeah it probably is most likely, um I don't, I don't remember how old it is, I, I just saw somebody talking about it on YouTube and the fact that they believe this is based around <clears throat> that sure it served as story fodder for them to build upon right just like uh, the upcoming Flash movie is going to be based around Flashpoint, but mm-hmm. it obviously is not actually Flashpoint. Flashpoint. That's true. Which I've had. I've wrestled with that one too. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> Michael Keaton's keeping me totally on board with that though. So I, I am totally sold on the next flash film. So yeah. With Michael Keaton. Yes. Of yes. course. It's freaking Michael Keaton, man. Michael Keaton. I'm Batman. 
right? <laughs> Dude, you know he was given a, a commencement speech at a, a college a few years ago, and he finishes off the speech and goes, I got two words to say. I'm Batman. And he walks off the stage. <laughs> He is Batman. Uh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> now that's he pretty. now he can run around going, I'm Vulture. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah. He's awesome. That he is. So I you know, I sounds like we're kind of starting to wrap up a little bit, but I, you know, I enjoy the trailer. Will I go see the movie? Absolutely. Yes, I will. Oh um, yeah, you're going to go see this movie. <laughs> yeah, am I going to do Disney Plus on it? I don't think they're going to. I'd be surprised if they release on Disney Plus, even though they did. Even though they did what the the um, Black Widow. I I don't know. I I wonder if we'll see where they'll make people go to the theater on this one. And it also depends on where we at in the plague, and you know what theaters are doing, and. Uh, True. Good point. There's there's a lot of uh, um, other stipulations in that decision making there. Um, yeah. I personally, if I've got the choice, I'm going to spend the money and go see this one in the theater. I I think mm. this is one that you got to go see on the big screen at least for the initial watch. You know. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I will as long as I can. And so far we can in my area, but who knows where we're going to be by December. Um, hopefully better and yeah. Sure. Um, sure. Yeah. I hope so. Um, yeah, me too. But, uh, yeah, if, if I have the possibility of going to see this one in the theater, I'm going to see it in the theater. I would prefer to be around people and get that group experience for this, this particular movie. I, I, mm-hmm. I think it's needed for this film, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. we'll see. We'll see. Agreed. Agreed. Just like Halloween yeah. kills. I want to see that. I'm, I'm in the theater, see, yeah, yeah. I'll probably go see Shang Chi in the theater. Shang Chi, I haven't decided yet. I, I know, and that's partially because I know nothing about the character. <laughs> Agreed. I've just watched the trailers. Um, I think they look like a, it's going to be a, a lot of fun and a lot of good action. Cool. And Marvel has done great movies, and so you know, especially with these characters that a lot of people don't know anything about. I mean, we're hitting the for lack of a better list, you know, you know, C-list characters. You, you know what I mean? I don't mean that meanly like ABC, like grade-wise. I just mean from the point of view of of these are characters we don't know hardly anything about, but they're really big. So, see, from my understanding, Shang-Chi's dad is the Mandarin. Oh. The, the real Mandarin. Oh, wow. Okay. Not the fake one we got in Iron Man 2. <laughs> Okay. Kind of. A, so he has ties so, to Iron Man then. Or three or something like that. There, uh, possibly. I don't know. I huh. don't know the story. Okay. But all I know is it's, it's, um, that it's, it's, his dad is the Mandarin. Cool. And so, so yeah, it's a family struggle, family dynasty kind of, you know, what do you, you know, so it, it sounds like it's going to be an interesting, sure. interesting plot, you know, and film for it. So. I did not know that. So that, that adds a, little extra reason for me to watch it then. Um, right. And as far as you talking about the C-list characters, well, technically, Marvel kicked everything off with C-list list characters because technically Iron Man and Captain America were considered C-list characters when, when they started the Marvel MCU. So what, who were the A-list characters? Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man is definitely an A-list. Um, let's see. I mean, see, no reason I'm asking, but my point being is, yeah, yeah, okay, so that would have been, you know, I always think about the Avengers game. I played one of the Avengers games, you know, the top down scroller games, you know, where you're, right. you know, you're playing different characters. And I was like, oh, there's an Iron Man. I knew him. Who's Black Widow? I don't know Black Widow. Right. You know, right. I don't know who Black right. Widow is. Who, uh, who else, you know, I was aware of Captain America. I thought Captain America would have been a list. Um, but we should see, do a ranking. We should totally do a ranking episode and why. But see, back then when they started the MCU, those two characters they they were on the verge of being canceled by Marvel Comics because they weren't selling comics anymore. 
no one cared about those two characters anymore. Now, you and I, as comic book nerds, and we've been comic book nerds all our lives, yeah, we knew who Iron yeah. Man and we knew who Cap was. And to us, they were, you know, they were A-listers. We thought they were. But in the mm-hmm. world and but in based sales, upon sales, no, they were not. They weren't. They were not. Now, now mm-hmm. they're the top of the game. <laughs> right. Everyone right. wants Iron Man and Captain America now, you know. Right. But that's because the movies did so well. So it, it's a different game now. It's a total different okay. game, you know. Yeah. And, and I think Spider-Man's on a completely different level altogether. So uh, obviously we've had three different Spider-Mans and they continue to, to do Spider-Man. So um, yeah. <laughs> Spider Man's not going away anytime soon. <laughs> yeah, he's not going away. I mean, how many different Spider Man titles were there? We joked about in this episode. Oh, jeez. And all. Yep. I do have Web of Spider Man number one, by the way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Somewhere I have probably the first year of the uh, Todd McFarlane uh, run of Spider Man. Oh. Cool. Yeah, because I, I know we've got Spawn because that's what we traded on. Yeah. I had gotten the Spawn ones, and then I was, I was like, ah, I don't know if I like these. And I gave you know we squatch out because you gave me Shadow of the Bat. Yeah, Shadow of the Bat, the first ones of that one. That's a that was a tough trade there. <laughs> Shadow of the Bat was a that was a good series. It is a good series. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. like that series. Yep. Yeah. All right. All well, right. Cool. Well, hey everybody, let us know your thoughts about this. Uh, um, about the trailer, you know, what you liked, what are your theories about that? Especially the Mephisto theory. That's interesting theory. I'll have to look up some of that a little bit more and all that, but, uh, yeah, just get on our Facebook page and, uh, and let us know two geeks and a microphone <laughs> and stuff. All right. Well, my brain is spent. <laughs> I, I just, holy moly, <laughs> holy guacamole, Batman or, or, or Holy shamoly, Spider Man! <laughs> My brain's done. Well, hey everybody, thanks so much for listening. Um, thanks for joining us again. Catch us. You can go to our two geeks mike dot com uh, for our website, which is the really the portal to everything else to to our Facebook page, to our Twitter account, to um, to our Kofi page, to our merch page. Um, but yeah, please let me know about that. Uh, your opinion about this trailer and your theories about what this movie is going to be. And is it going to be like Mike says, is it going to be the biggest Marvel movie of 2021? So, all right, Mike, I'm, I'm out. I'm, I mean, I'm going to have to take a nap. I think after this one, (laughs) (laughs) it's all you brother. All right. With that said, I'll close this out a little differently today. Um, So over and out. And like Uncle Ben says, with great power comes great responsibility. Thank you for joining us today on the Two Geeks and a Microphone podcast. Tune in next week when we will have more news and reviews. Until then, 